What's up everybody? So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the sync tables between different bases feature in Airtable. Now Airtable just released this in the late 2020, I wanna say like the fall or the winter. And I've been playing around with this a little bit, a little bit and now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimized IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you, help them optimize their information system. So that's on stuff like Airtable for asset management, Asana for project management, Slack for communications, as well as Zapier and Integromat to really connect all the systems together and make them work seamlessly. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check out a link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So tossing on the glasses here, basically what this is great for is managing lists. So if you want to be able to manage a client list in multiple, multiple bases, or if you want to manage, say, your team, a list of your team with all of their emails and individual positions and everything a little bit more in depth in the collaborator field. You can do that with this. You can, those are some really common use cases of sharing a list of names, information, email addresses, phone numbers in one base and another base. So for our example right here, we are going to be linking the contacts in the sales CRM and we're going to be syncing that with a table in the project tracker. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, open up the base which has the data, that good data that you want to be adding to the other base. So for us, this is going to be the sales CRM. So if we come over here to the sales CRM and it automatically will open our contact sheet because that's what we were in here last. But what you want to do, and this, this is going to be super easy, it won't take very long at all once you watch this video, is you will come up here and you will share the view. So if you come up here, share the view, and you create a shareable good view link, that's how you're going to access this data. And I'm in the web version. I know I normally do it in the app and show you all everything there, but it's a lot easier on the web version because it'll open up different windows and add it that way. So when I open up this, it'll say this view is a shared shared view via a private link. So you want to allow viewers to copy data out of this view. So you toggle that on and you don't have to share this with anyone else, but what you're going to do is you're going to go then go preview that. So once that previews, you'll see this up here, use this data. And all you have to do now is just click that and you'll come in here and it'll already recognize that you're logged into Airtable so long as you're in that same browser that you're logged in right here. But you'll log, if you're not, you'll log into your Airtable, you choose your workspace. So I'm gonna choose my workspace right now. So I choose my workspace and now I'm gonna choose the base. So now I'm gonna choose this project tracker base. So now I can create the table and project tracker and it'll take a little bit, but then it'll create it. This all contacts table is now in this project tracker. So you can see it automatically open up the project tracker. And in here we have design projects, tasks, clients, as well as all contacts. Now this was the old stock table in here, but now we want this one. So before you go deleting all of your other ones, you want to come over here and check out your projects. So these, these are linked to design projects. So when you're transitioning this data, you don't want to just go delete the clients table. You want to make sure you convert some of these projects and convert them over to the all contacts. Just add that simple linked record in there and that will be perfect. So right here you can see it's going to have this account field. And whereas this would normally be linked in this table to the corresponding table, it's going to take away the ability to go check out that record in here. But you do, I would, still highly suggest leaving that to make sure everything works perfectly. But now what you can do is you can come over here and you can add a new linked field and you can add that to the design projects. So now I'll create this and I'm not going to add any lookup fields, but now I would start make manually adding these over and implementing them into the design projects so that you don't lose a bunch of your data off the bat. So once you do that, you can come over here and delete this. And then wherever you had the lookup fields or the linked fields in your first database, I would just go ahead and hide those. So in any views you have in this new table, I would just go and hide those so that you don't have to see them, you don't have to deal with them. And then once you do that, what you should be able to do is you should be able to come in here and unshare this link. So if I come in here and disable the shared view link, that's good, so if anybody tries to use that link, or if anybody enables that shared view link, now you'll know if somebody else is using it. But now, if you're on a pro plan, this will update automatically, but this will sync this table 
with this table over here. So if I add a record in here, it'll sync them up. But in this video, I really just wanted to show you how to add that sync table in there. And if you really enjoyed this video, you'd probably enjoy this video right up here in the end screen. And it's going to be an introduction to Airtable automation. So Airtable added automations right around the same time that added these synced tables in here. So if you really enjoyed this video, you'll probably really enjoy that video. It's all about how to do internal Airtable automations, and it's really gonna take your Airtable base to the next level. It's gonna take your Airtable workspace to the next level. It's similar to how this sync table system works. So highly encourage you to go check out that end screen right there. And without further ado, I'll see you in that video and have a great day.